today we have a very fun video. I am going to Barnes and Noble. I am here now and I was like, I deserve this. I deserve a little treat. I deserve to go to Barnes and Noble. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get much, but if I do, I'm gonna get a little haul later and we'll see. So let's go to Barnes. Damage to my bank account was done and I'm not even mad about it. I can't even be upset because I'm so excited about some of these books. I am gonna be doing a big birthday book haul soon. That is coming soon. My birthday is November 6th. This is gonna be like a little sneak peek. If you wanna see that big birthday book haul, if book hauls are your thing, if you clicked on this video to see the book haul, you might as well subscribe so you don't miss out on it, right? Right? It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. I bought seven books. I was literally only gonna get like two. I just like, the spirit of Barnes and Noble took over my body and I blacked out and I walked out with seven books. First book I got is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Mass. I just finished Throne of Glass a few months ago and I just like wasn't super in the mood to pick up the next book in the series. Not because I didn't like it, I just wasn't in the mood for it and now I'm in the mood. I'm ready to read this book. I know I'm gonna like it. I'm a Sarah J Mass girl. I really like her stuff. I just love holding this. I'm so happy this is in my hands in my house right now because I've been meaning to pick it up for a few months now, so I'm glad I finally have it. The next book I got, I'm kind of a nerd. I am a literature person and I love Kurt Vonnegut, so I did get Mother Night by Kurt Vonnegut. I'm not gonna talk too much about it. Slaughterhouse Five is like my favorite book of all time. I love Kurt Vonnegut. I'm trying to read everything he writes, so this is just like my next venture into Mr. Vonnegut because I haven't read a Kurt Vonnegut this year and that's like insane to me. Next book I got, this is another like, oh, I'm cool and smart. I have no clue what this is about. Look at this cover. I got Sirens and Muses. Hello? This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I don't know what this is about. Anything compared to the secret history slay. So I don't think this is like necessarily Dark Academia, but like it has like the vibes of Dark Academia of like the tortured artist type vibe. The tortured obsessed artist. And that's what I love. Oh my God, this cover is gorgeous. Like I just, okay. I, I, it was definitely a cover buy, don't get me wrong. So if you've never been to a Barnes & Noble, they sometimes do this thing where they have like a $5 book with any cafe purchase. So it's one book, like it's a book that they have highlighted and they're like, you could get this book for $5 if you buy something from the cafe. Normally I'm not like super interested in the books that they have, but this month's book was really cool. And it was this one, it's called Secrets Never Die. So I got this for $5 at the cafe, love. And I got my discount because I'm a member. Hello, it's perfect, right? The blurb on this one, the thing that got me, it says, Every year, Sam Hall and his friends hold funerals for their secrets in an abandoned hut in the woods that they call the Dark Place. But this year, their secrets are coming back from the dead to terrorize them. And I guess like the main character is like a former child star and it's like, oh my god, this just seems like a fun thriller. Like this book just seemed like cool and fun for like spooky season. I don't know why I bought books for my October TBR when it's already gigantic and I already have like a ton I need to read for the fall. I don't know why I did that to myself. But here I am, 
And you know what? We're gonna hope I get through them. The next one is also one that I'm hoping to read this month, which again, why am I adding to my TBR? Who knows? But here I am. And it is My Roommate is a Vampire. I got this because of the 50% off. I got another book you'll see in a second. I know a lot of people are complaining that he talks like he's from the 1700s, but that's what made me want this book. I love that idea. I love the idea of that. I love that like she's like this cute little artsy girl from the 21st century and he's like a literal like vampire who speaks like he's like freaking in Shakespeare. I love that. I love that. The next book I got was the other book I got on the buy one get one 50% off and it was Beartown by Frederick Bachman. Again, Frederick Bachman is one of my favorite authors of all time. I love A Man Called Uva, probably second favorite book after Slaughterhouse Five. So I wanted to get this, especially since it was on the buy one get one 50% off. I know this is a series he has. I think it might be the only series he has, but I do also want to get through his backlist. So far I've read two of his books and I've loved them both. So I already know I'm going to like this one and I'm excited for it. I just know it's going to make me cry. And finally, the last book I got I am super excited for I've heard a lot about this I'm a little worried because a lot of people are saying like they like it but it's just okay so I'm hoping I love it. and that is a study in drowning by Ava Reed first of all this cover is gorgeous I'm obsessed with this I was looking for this for like ever in Barnes and Noble I haven't been able to find it and then I finally found it today and I know I could have just ordered it online but I don't know there's something about like certain books that I'm like I just want to buy that in a Barnes and Noble I am really excited about this basically what I know about this is there's this girl and there's like this author who she really liked and he dies and she goes like to his manor and she's like cleaning it out and it's like on like this beautiful like I think they're like above the ocean or something like that or a lake or something and when she gets there there is a guy there who was trying to like disprove the author and he basically is saying that he was like a fraud so they end up obviously forming like a rivals to lovers love story people are really really enjoying this I think I'm gonna like it I just oh my god I love this book and like the hardback this is gorgeous this is gorgeous this is another book I cannot wait to display on my shelf if you're new here I I'd love to have you subscribe. We have a good time. If you like this video, you could go ahead and give it a thumbs up. All my socials are linked down below. And that's it. I will see you guys next week. Bye!